While he's not the first, and more than likely, he won't be the last East Texan to win the NFL MVP, Patrick Mahomes could be in the process of becoming the most recognizable sports celebrity that our neck of the Piney Woods has ever produced. So what will he do for an encore? Only the second player in league history to throw for 5,000 yards and 50 touchdown passes in the same season, the former White House and Texas Tech gunslinger is now viewed by many as the new face of the NFL. I made a, j a joke to my girlfriend last night. I said that if there was a league past the NFL, he'd probably make that league too. The type of record-setting performances that Mahomes displayed in his first year as the starting quarterback for the Kansas City Chiefs is unlike anything pro football has ever seen. As he gets ready for another go-round, he's not too concerned that he may have set his own bar too high. It's not about um, thinking about the expectations. It's, a, it's about just getting better as a quarterback and as a person and as a leader of the team. And that's about doing the little things every single day is going through this, the routine that's got you here and then finding ways to improve that. His accomplishments have made Mahomes a brand and earned him all kinds of endorsement deals, including the cover of Madden NFL 20 the latest version of the eternally popular video game, but he stresses that football comes first. I've surrounded myself uh, with a lot of great people in my agency and in this facility and that we know what kind of person that I want to be seen as, what kind of person I actually am, and I want to make sure that I align myself with people that are on that same page. And I've got to go around and, and have great partnerships now and, and got to go with speaking engagements with great charities and people around the, around the country, really. And giving back is a major part of his essence. Making an appearance on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, Mahomes launched his new foundation, 15 and the Mahomies, which sets out to help kids from underserved communities or that are fighting a chronic illness or serious injury. Those kids are the ones that that train harder than me by a hundred times every single day. And I want to make sure I can give back to them in any shape, in any way, in order to get them the resources that they need to, to have an amazing life. For some of his former high school teammates, that's just the type of person he is. He was always a cool guy. You know, you just never just thought he was better than everyone else. It's just a person that led by example. He goes out in the community, you know, he um, get everybody involved. He's a um, great role model to look after. On the field, there's probably no one better to assess how he's evolved than his former White House and Texas Tech teammate Dylan Cantrell, who caught balls from a home since their childhood and is now in the NFL himself as a receiver for the L.A. Chargers. I think he's just going to keep getting better from here on. It's been awesome to watch him develop and watch him grow throughout the years from, you know, high school, college. Now, now at the pro level, it's funny because no one could expect him doing these this bigger things, but at the same time, we're not surprised because um, he's got all the talent and he puts in the work and he prepares better than anyone, so not, not surprised at all. Another NFL East Texan who's been friends with Mahomes since they were kids is Baltimore Ravens linebacker and John Tyler alum Tyus Bowser. Pat is Pat. I mean, I've been knowing him for forever, and he's been doing the same thing since he's been at White House. So just seeing what he's doing, man, you know, it's no surprise to me, but, you know, it's always good to see, you know, one of my guys go out there and, you know, win MVP and, you know, play as well as he did. So I'm real happy for him. For Bowser, who just like Mahomes is entering his third year in the league, one highlight of his 2018 campaign was when he was able to trade jerseys with his old buddy when the Chiefs beat the Ravens in overtime in KC back in December. It's more than just a game, you know, you get to see guys you didn't always looked up to in the same area and, you know, we just represent East Texas and, you know, put on for, you know, our city. And it's just good to see, you know, both of us in the league, you know, living our dreams. As Mahomes goes through offseason workouts with the Chiefs, he says he can't wait to get back on the field. I was itching the, the day after the AFC Championship game uh, to get back to football. Uh, watching the Super Bowl, I like, kind of watched it, but at the same time I couldn't watch it because I was, I was so disappointed that we weren't there. And then this whole offseason is just training and, and trying to restrain myself from throwing too much, restrain myself from doing too much because it's, it's a steady process and you don't want to peak too soon. You want to make sure that you're building and building, and that that's – the thing when you're that close, uh, you want to get back in the building and get right back after it. Maybe one possession away from knocking off one of the league's greatest dynasties and reaching the promised land of pro football, Mahomes has one goal in mind heading into 2019. Just winning the Super Bowl is my only goal, honestly. Uh, I feel like that was my goal last year, and I feel like that's my goal this year, and it will be every year. I mean, when when you look back on on, on the season, at the end of the season, you're not going to look back at what your stats were or what, what all that stuff was, is if you were hold, holding that trophy at the end of the season or not. All while his close friends that he still maintains in contact with, even on game days, cheer on him back home. We definitely get to, you know, kind of give him the confidence that, you know, that he might need sometimes say, you know, you can do it. You know, this, you shouldn't be scared. You shouldn't be nervous about trying to push through it. And he has the same exact attitude. He wants, 
you know, he wants it all. He wants to be a competitor and he wants to win it all. So, you know, we, we're, we're glad to hear that from him and we're glad to push him that way too. Go! course with all of East Texas firmly behind him. Mahomes and the Chiefs open OTAs on Tuesday in Kansas City. Reporting in the studio, Mike Alzamora, KTK Sports.